Yep, we're back. We're here again. I just thought of one last thing to try with the crystals. And I have to know. I have to know. We have to try it. So since the last episode, I got one more idea. Because I noticed that when I turned off my power and then walked across them and then turned on my power, they kind of freaked out completely and just lit up like all of them or one at a time in a weird order I don't even know it was very strange but that just gave me one more idea so let's just quickly try that idea and then get back to the actual game so my idea this time is to play them just all of them but not in a particular order but at the same time so if we turn on the power apparently that starts playing for some reason if I now walk a Okay. Yeah, there we go. That's what I want. But then if I walk back now, I'm going to play the third one, right? Yeah, okay. So now, I want to walk across. Wait. Do I? Yeah. Walk across. Now I want to turn off my power. Then walk over here. Then walk back. Then walk one more time. And that should have triggered all three of them. And now if we turn on... Nothing. Really. I am not quite sure how that works. What if I do it quicker? No. Alright. Nothing. It was nothing. Let's ignore it then. Until I find another thing to try. And I don't even recognize this uh, thumbnail, but I guess we'll jump in here. Yeah, it is just here. I guess it's just a little bit of a spoiler for what's coming up. Oh, and right, I have to, uh... Ah, that's a little bit of a clue, too. I didn't even notice that. If you don't have the power on, you don't see the fucking Konami code thing. So, that's a, that's a clue that you're supposed to pay attention to that. But also, let's just check our collection. Yeah, make sure we have this thing, because I think that's what I got. I mean, I guess I can just try this again. Let's see, can you do this when you have the power off? This is just for, for science, so it's left, right, right, left, right, left, right. Left, right, right, left, right, left, right. No, you can't. You have to have the power on. And that works. Alright, cool. And that's the dog. Yeah, alright. I uh, don't even really need to collect it, because I already have it. But whatever, let's get it. There we go. And now we can actually continue. Sorry about that little delay. Oh my god. Oh no, please don't be spiders. I don't like spiders. Hello. Guy. Hello, guy. Guys. Oh my god. So now I can't go back? I can go back. That's odd. No, I can't go back. Ah, okay. That's... a bit of a strange thing. Like, clipping... Oh my... God! Jesus Christ! That... That's terrifying. Okay. Let's see what this is all about. Yeah, let's read about this. Which one is it? Oh! It's on the next page, I see, so I've, like, missed quite a few. Yeah, okay, so we're gonna have to search for those, like, in a second playthrough or whatever. Oh god, hold on, I don't want to have this guy. Yeah, there we go, that's much better. Anthropomorphic face. Flat plaque depicting an anthropomorphic face surrounded by moose and animal heads. 6th century, from the village of Scorodum. Scorodum? Scrotum? I don't even know. Ilian District. Perm Cry. Okay, so are we trying to, like, make that face here? Like, what's up? Oh, we're t Ah, we are trying to make that face. I see. So, yeah, you see the face at the top. So I need to turn... This thing has to be straight up. So, like, that... Uh, I wonder how lenient it is, but let's try it like that. And then the eyes have to be the right way up as well. Uh, 
it's kind of okay. I guess it's more more strict than that. Let's make sure to get it right. Wait. There we go. I want to make it so that I can only take one step off to immediately cancel it. There we go. That should be good, right? That's pretty good. Come on, that's like, that's perfect. You can't expect more than that. Unless I've done it wrong and like, done it upside down. Maybe you're supposed to do it the other way around. Oh, I see. I th ah, I thought the third one would like rotate the uh, the center, but no, the center was like static and just you were rotating around that. Okay, that makes sense. But that seems to be like an actual thing you're supposed to do. So I kind of want to check out the right side if there's even anything more to be discovered here. Maybe there isn't. No, there's not. Okay. There's nothing more than this. Oh, man. Oh, wow. And it's even letting you know that you have to power up. Huh. That's cool. Oh, God. A little bit janky camera. Oh god, the English is bad. Hold space to shoot farther. Now we have a bow. But hold on. I see. Interesting. So we don't we don't have the power anymore to like do the spirit thing. Are we a different character or is this like I mean wasn't it something about the moose man being like part god or moose or whatever and part man? So maybe this is like his human portion? I don't know, but obviously we have to go left to get a secret, probably. But let's just touch this, and we get a myth, and I guess I'll read that. And no, I'll, I'll wait with that, and I'll read the one in the cutscene first. So yeah, let's go back here. We have to redo the shuffling around puzzle, but that's not too bad. But yeah, I did notice that the, uh, the English in this particular section of the story was very bad. So, I'm just gonna... Oh god, that that is scary as fuck. What the hell is that? I'm just gonna read it, and... It's gonna make no sense. Some of it. So yeah, maybe it isn't that, like, strict. Maybe I can just do, like, sort of this kind of thing, and not really do it very well. No. Okay, not quite. It has to be at least somewhat lined up. That should be fine. Oh, yeah, that was very lenient. That would have been terrible. Ah, I see! And it's not that I had to press space in to, like, activate my power, it's that it doesn't, like, automatically do it for you. That's good. All right, let's read. But he left forever the daughter of men. Hunting, he went along with his sons to track a moose that run as wind. And catch it in taiga and shoot it with an arrow. The six-legged moose could walk all worlds. His horns bore shandy that lit. 
the kingdom of the dead, the middle world and the upper world of gods. Just, okay. Nothing more than that. Alright. Let's go get this, obviously. That's a tiny thing. What a little baby thing. Where is that? Right here. A man! It's a man! Human figure of... Gliadensky period? I don't even know. Found on a sacrificial place and probably was a... Votive? Offering? I don't even know that word. These kind of items were devoted to spirits and gods to gain different favors. 3rd century BC, 6th century AD, from... Gliadenovskoye. No clue. Burial mound. Perm region. Jesus. They're just... They're stepping up the fucking weird words and... I'm assuming it's Russian, or maybe it's not even Russian. Maybe it's related to Russian, but not quite. No idea. Alright, and then let's read the myth we got as well. The first hunt. Among the layers of creation, the six-legged moose dwelled. He traveled with a sun shandy on his horns from the lower world to the upper world. He was fast, fast as a thought, and strong as a northern wind. He wore shandy for a long time before Yen went for a hunt. What does that even mean? Yen went hunting for an ancient moose, and he took his sons with him. For a long time, he followed the six-legged moose through Parma. At last he slew him, and his hide he threw to the stars. This is how Yen taught his sons hunting, but not only that. Cliffhanger? Okay. That's, that's weird. We're actually kind of fast now. And then you can press space to shoot an arrow, and then you can hold it down. But you can't move while you're charging. Okay. And that just aims a slight bit higher and probably goes a bit further. Well, let's kill a moose, I suppose. There it is! Huh. Can I fire from here? No. That doesn't go far enough. Yeah, I am noticing that, like... Yeah, the animations are kind of, uh jaggy and stuff intentionally, but also stuff like the camera does kind of jitter a little bit, at least for me. Maybe that's on my end. Oh, and that's it. Oh, oh, I saw that. Yep. There it is. It's a snake. Let's read about the snake. It's a snake! Snake figure of Gliadensky period. Among artifacts of blah blah blah, Burial mound are also found figures of snake made in non-flat casing technique. Snake is a symbol of the lower world because it moves both on the ground and below it. Does it? Alright. 3rd century BC, 6th century AD, from blah 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 burial mound perm region. I wonder if I'm even gonna get to use my bow, like when... Oh. Oh, it's a wolf. Okay, well, we have to just, like, walk into the wolf and die. Yeah, alright. Just to check. Oh, wait, maybe I can't, like... What? He's retreating. Oh, he's coming back. And he's dead. Sorry, wolf. Okay. I just, like, tapped space and that was it. And I can't turn on my power or anything, so I can't check for secrets. Oh, that's a totem pole. Huh. Wolf! He is the one with a grey hide. He is the one who lives in the forest. He is one of the darkest creations of Yen. He is evil and he is treacherous. And it is said that once he almost killed his creator Yen when he walked among the men. Come on, wolves aren't that bad. Not compared to anything else, really. 
Got him! Ah, I thought so. I actually thought it would be an achievement, but I guess it's just a, uh, an artifact. Interesting. Pheasant. Pheasant pendant. Between the 6th and 8th centuries, Upper Kama Basin, Perm Cry. Man, no music, like, no background sounds today, really. It's very quiet. Oh, and now we, like, shoot the tree and it falls over, I guess? Oh, but I kind of don't want to do that. Ah, uh, I kind of wanted to... Hold on. I need to... Yeah, I, I need to start over. I want to just... Just to be thorough, I need to just check. Get wrecked, pheasant. I just have to check what's down the hole. If it's just death. It's probably just death, but... This game does enjoy its secrets, and I enjoy finding them, so... Just want to be thorough and check everything at least once. Because even, even so, I've already missed, like, six different things or whatever. So, I could do with being even more thorough. Also, I thought that was the moose, but it's just a tent. Oh, another wolf. He's dead. And the tent was nothing. You can't even, like, do anything here. Huh. And apparently I have infinite arrows. Obviously you go back, yep. Of course. Of course you do. And that is Wolf. Oh yeah, so damn, I... I haven't really been paying attention, but... You're getting them all in order, it seems, so... Man, did I, like, miss... All these in in order, or yeah, I I don't know exactly how it is, but like we're getting them in this kind of order, and right now I know that I haven't missed one between these two or whatever. So if I say find the next one, and it's this one, I should just remember that oh I've missed something between these two, and I should go back and check there. That's actually very convenient if that's true. If there are no exceptions to that rule. Wolf figure of Gladensky period. The majority of items found in Gladensky burial mound. Mount Maumd. There's a typo. Consists of small cast bronze figures. Third century, I mean, everything the exact same as it has been all the other times. So, alright. What? He's moonwalking. What are you doing, wolf? What? Was that not intentional? The wolf wasn't supposed to be doing that? I thought it was like... Shielding itself from the wind or whatever, or not even shielding, but like... It was struggling with the wind. Yeah, what the heck is going on? You're dead. Oh, sorry guy. They even like yelp when you kill them. That's horrible. Let's see if he does it again. Nope. This time he just walked normally. What the heck? And that's about it. Oh. That was a weird jump cut. There he is. We're on his trail. Hold on, gotta check back. Just a second. See if there's anything if you go further left. Apparently not. I might have been able to... I wonder. I might have been able to shoot him there. Huh. But I didn't want to right up. Oh! Oh, it's just gonna like loop around. Okay, I get it. So if I don't do it, maybe, maybe that's a thing you can do. Maybe you get an achievement for like chasing him forever and not actually killing him. I'll do it three times. So once more after this, just to check. Yeah, they should like. They really should have a uh, sort of faded in the background sound 
into itself, so it didn't have that jarring cut. But yeah, doesn't seem like you get anything. So let's actually shoot him, I suppose. Oh my god. Oh. Dir da bucha sharavotchi shijim zonkat, budmirat, okeanat, yen jivai lankirish, i valish kartava kirasvalan varmas sasyavatis, i nyavyashan lish, shon dimuf tavashatis, kajit kutis drug budas mirazdani, tsarstva kulam lish, da parish duch lish luman tirtis, otir svet i yen lish mir, yun kuntis. I thought Yen was like the good guy. Wasn't Yen like our god or something? No, I guess not. I I guess I haven't been paying attention, but Yen sounds like he kind of fucked up majorly right there. But I kind of want to leave it off there, but might be a little bit too short or like shorter than usual. But I guess I have to find a, uh, a totem pole quickly to sort of checkpoint. But yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna reread that that section next time, like read it out loud. So I'll just redo that part and bring you back. Oh my god! Wow, that's loud music. That is incredibly loud. So we're suddenly in a desert now. Oh, damn. I thought these would give me a story. Nope, they don't. Ah, but there's a secret over here. I'm just gonna end it off, and I'll get back here next time. So, we'll continue next time, as I've said. Hope you enjoyed, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in that very next time that I've spoken at length about. Bye-bye!